This is a Leap Back Home to Me by Lauren Thompson. I have lots of stories about frogs and seesaw. Tad and Dad is also in the YouTube channel. And then there's some nonfiction stories about some animals that hibernate. This isn't a story about hibernation though. This was written by Laura Thompson and she's written some other books that we have enjoyed recently. So the illustrations might look really similar too. Leap frog over the ladybug, leap frog over the bee. So our frog's off. What do you think might happen next? The leap frog went over the tickly clover. Plip. And then leap back home to me. A leap frog over the daisies. Leap frog over the creek. Leap frog over the splashing beaver spring. And then leap back home to me. It looks like they're going to draw with some crayons like we do in school. Leap frog over the owl's nest. Leap frog over the trees. Leap frog over the rocky hilltop. Wee! And then leap back home to me. This time, um, mom has a story ready. Frog time stories instead of bedtime stories. A leap frog over the mountains. A leap frog over the sea. Leap frog over the roaming clouds. Whoosh. I love how the author illustrates those big words. And then, leap frog back to me. They're having dinner and a salad or something, it looks like. A leap frog over the sun. Leap frog as high as you please. Leap frog out into the farthest star. Zoom. And then, when you leap home, here I'll be. The author uses lots of watercolors with some ink and ends the story with their dedication page for Kevin and for Julie and Romy. So, um, you can use the watercolors if you have them at your house. We have them here at school as well. And in Seesaw, you'll find more activities about frogs. And there's a song called My Bonnie. My Bonnie lies over the ocean that follows this storyline real well um, that you can learn if you're interested. See you soon.